Hello, and welcome to day 137 of Putin's war against Ukraine and democracy and food stability around the world. This is episode six. I am moving it to Sunday because Sunday is a day where I think it will just work better. And I'm also going to make these a little bit more around what I am doing now, uh, which is writing the book about the walk. I don't want to benefit from my walk, so I will give all proceeds uh, to some charity, some fund, probably uh, the United 24 that uh, President Zelensky initiated. But I find the other night I met a man who completely did not understand why I walked across Poland, and I get it. A lot of people don't understand it. But then he argued, well, he's Greek, he argued with everything. But he didn't even accept my concept of throwing rocks in ponds, of causing ripples, of having influences continue and continue. So I'm very glad I'm writing this book because the uh, second part of it, well, after the prologue, it's going to be 12 postulates, reasons why I walked, or why walk anyone. And uh, the one, it's toward the end, I think it's number 10 or 11, is rocks and ponds, ripples. And so I think I'm, I can talk about this book because I have completed four or five books already. So I know I will complete it. I'm hoping I will get it done possibly by the end of the summer because I would really like more people to understand what I did and I'd like to cause more ripples. But today I'm going to read you a poem I wrote many years ago. Uh, there was a circumstance where a quote friend uh, did not behave like a friend and she she flirted with the man I was with and ended up causing a car accident because of it. And we didn't lose our lives, although we could have because we were on a mountain road. Um, and I, I didn't even want to identify all those details in the poem. So it's called uh, Ripples, Reflections on a Betrayal. You never know what damage your little lie might cause. You'll never know what part you played in the dramas and tragedies of the lives you touch. So let me remind you, from where comes a great tree? A small seed. From where comes a great wall? Countless small bricks. How does the rain barrel fill? drop by drop. Most bad things don't happen like earthquakes. They are the fruits of wrongdoing. So I wanted to throw rocks to inspire and create good doing, hopefully, um, good trouble. But uh, it's worth remembering that uh, we can also cause damage by rocks we throw, actions we make. And I just heard uh, Greg Oliar's podcast. He is tremendous. I really cannot recommend Prevail, the podcast, enough. Uh, and a, a, a woman who specialized and really understood about how these horrible mass shootings happen. And she too, one of her points toward the end, what can we do? Um, small actions. Uh, take the time to talk to somebody that might feel isolated or uh, misunderstood. Uh, we don't know all the mass shootings that are prevented. And until we do something about gun control, 
and a well-regulated militia? Uh, these things keep happening. Thank you for your time, and I hope to see you again with episode, I think it will be seven, next week. Take care. I've been Amma.